Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Last time we left off we had finished off chapter one. Now we're heading into chapter two, so let's get going, shall we? Again, helps if I hit the right button. And if my monitor didn't freeze. One moment. Okay, fixed it. <laughs> let's go. Yes, I would like to start from Chapter 2 at 7.31 p.m. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who killed me. Had me killed. Oh, I need to learn to read. Our meeting? It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Hmm, yes. If what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bel- uh, But- What? <laughs> Bedeviling- Okay, so I had it right the first time. Bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Hmm? hmm, yes. But I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the, the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. Maybe I'll give me some information on my redhead. And we've got some new info about these characters. I'll let you guys take a look at that stuff yourselves. Is anything else going to happen here? Uh, doesn't look like it. So let's ghost ourselves a file. Ah. Hmm, yes. How much longer, my good man? We are charging up for backup power now, s now sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But confound Jigo, I say. Every year, his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? <laughs> Apparently they like to joke about it, too. Anyways, trick. It seems the file contains information about that redhead. But I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say, the file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target Miss Lynn is no longer a threat, sir. But that's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm, Lynn, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file... It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Keep the words in red handy, okay? Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? My goodness, what a fancy room. We've got a few things to manipulate to our advantage here. I had to defy the laws of gravity, but I don't care. <laughs> you have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Let's see what our main character here has to say. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone got... and I got put away neatly, and the only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? Hmm, guess we'll have to find out by exploring. Hmm. 
We're currently in the file, so there's not much we can do there. Mm, lamp. Nothing we can do with that. Oh, well, we can operate the projector. Let's see. Trick. Um, I'm actually going to take the opportunity, because I noticed the light from the core earlier on the painting. So let's take advantage of that. Gad, man, are you trying to give me the case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah. Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off, confound it. <laughs> yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In case, in that case, might I suggest this, sir? Oh. It's us. Hey, that's... Hmm, yes. Sissel. I know it's Cecil, but I've always pronounced it Sissel. You can blame Reboot for that one. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes, it is very important night indeed. My good man, we can't afford to make mistakes. And that's why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Hmm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Oh? I say, this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. With that painting spinning around and the like, it's enough to give a, a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We are still trying to iron out the kink, sir. Hmm, yes. I just hope that's all of his. I mean, egad, man! How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? His grapes, huh? Hmm, can't do anything with the fruit ball. What about that machine he was using? Oh, we can operate it. Nice. <laughs> it's a miserable state of affairs when I can't even... when I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring! Egad! <laughs> it's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice! Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What? Lynn? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent out one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good! Lynn is in danger again! Well, we better get to that phone in fast. This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And? Out with it, man! Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead, now would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman Division? Bad! No, man! Now you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Have you ever... Have you even... Bleh. Wow, I need to read. Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll go back to my job now, sir. Confound it, you're even hanging up one step ahead of me! And our trace is complete. Got a new phone number. Lynn's apartment. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. Well, will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some nearsighted Jigo's pay. Lynn, 
I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. All right, well, let's trick our way to Lynn's apartment. Uh-oh. Um. That's... Th that's a dead dog! The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Ah, <laughs> she's tied up! Hmm. It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. The poor, brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Flynn came home now... Ugh, I have to do something about this situation, and fast. Well, it's trick time. And really, the closest thing to us is an umbrella, a door, and the dog. So let's talk to the dog, shall we? <clears throat> huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? <clears throat> who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course! Do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach to each reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are... Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla's in trouble! <laughs> you mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right! I'm Missile! Nice to meet you! And Missile is my most favorite character in this game! <laughs> you will see why! I'm a Pomeranian! Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camila! Miss Camila! My Miss Camila is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her! But I died before I could rescue her! How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress' safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save... Typo. <laughs> time to save his life! <laughs> and we get info on missile. But let's rewind time and see how everything perspo- uh, pro- What's the word I'm looking for? happened. Hmm. Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but... Where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you, one or the other. Hmm. It looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, you just traveled through time, and... Not especially! I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that! So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time! So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started! Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold, then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues! Well, let's see what happened. Yippee! I found the remote! Shut that mud up! Uh. No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark! The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If 
it barks again, I'll knock this wall down! You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV, too. Hey, I know, I'll listen to music! Oops! Phew, that was close! I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. I'll knock this wall down! Hmm, I don't really like it when the job- when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge and counting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. Oh my goodness! So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell you the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her! But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way for, uh, would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, WELCOME! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you see? Did you notice her putting on those red... Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it! I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me! To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things! Hmm, <laughs> you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know... Now we know we have to do something about that. And that is our main lead, too. So, let's get started. It's trick time. Okay, let's see. What can I trick first? You know what? I'm going to attach myself to the door, just in case. Now, there are some pretty entertaining things you can do here, too. Well, can't really change the little lady's fate by just standing around and watching. That intruder in black will be entering the room in just four short minutes. And my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. And the first step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Oh, that's right. So, let's head up to this umbrella, then. Oh, and this is where missile barks. Oh, knocked over that. And this is pretty much where she gives the same line, I think. Let's see. No, missile, you're not supposed to bark? Yeah, this is the same thing. So what's next? Uh, this is the same thing here. And it's a good thing I'm actually at the umbrella here. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Miss Camila is going to put those red things on her head! Yeah, I know. And once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? And that's why I'm at the umbrella. Wait for it. There. Into the fish tank. Oh no, darn! How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought those headphones too. How about we tell her you did it, Missile? Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. 
think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camila. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No! Never mind that! The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. And I am going back to the phone. Actually, maybe the phone's a bad idea. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the cart. And before anything, read this. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had a big, strong teeth and I'm gross as spirit! Hmm. Doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case... Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we hide Miss Camila? Hide, huh? That sounds just like the kind of idea a little dog you would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I might have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How do we get Miss Camila in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess... If I could possess Camila herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on! And I'm actually going to trick it back this way. And let me think, what do I do here? I think, yes, I rock the bowl. Knocking a donut down. And that calls a pink rat this time. Now before missile starts barking, um... Oh, actually, I timed this just right. You have to go to the star and go here. Then when you go back, trick on the other side. Oh, wrong spot go down this way into the door. Wait till this little notices, knock the mouse, and there you are. Missile, no! What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Aw, my little missile, you're always go doing the cutest things! Nobody's here, eh? My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Hmm. There, our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball of and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. That's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right! We did it! We did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camila? Yep. You're the one who let her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress, and I can uh, attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you! And fate's been averted. Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently they're the powers to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. Uh, I guess. That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me! What do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death's been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight? I'll never-
never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the present now. Time to see what happens next in our story. Resuming back to the present. And this is why I love Missile. Missile's just always happy. And now a new present is born. The li little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. What? Still at the junkyard? All right, got it. I'm on my way. Hm. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let Nearsighted Geo beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did! Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Lin! And it's trick time! We need to get to that phone! A call from Lin, eh? It sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I better go possess that phone and listen in. Okay. Head on back. Make our trip way back. There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor, dreaming away the life he worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Dustlamp taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I better try possessing him and see. Oh, it's you! It's you! It's... Huh. Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again, then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, the tearful goodbye! I'm Missile! But, you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course! All of it! Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person? It looks that way, yes! <laughs> That's pretty much it. They introduce you to this concept. It's a nice little thing. Actually, before I possess the telephone, let's have one more conversation with Missile, shall we? Hmm. That Camila, it never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that was you showing off, eh? Well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I! <laughs> oh, the missile is just adorable! <coughs> well, what's going on? Camila, oh, thank goodness you're okay! Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you've got to get out of there right now! But what about dinner? I thought about... I, I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I was all but I already was in danger, just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen, on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but this it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. And you can't very well call it a music box then, can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big, and it's made of wood. Okay, I will. 
Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Excuse me. Yeah! Lynn! Oh boy. Not again. Darn, now I dropped the phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? But I sure hope Lynn is alright. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? <coughs> Trick time once again. And... Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our la little lady is a bit of a klutz. Next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. I better help Camila find her treasure. Hmm. I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what, but I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Oh, oh, can I sh show this off? Come on, missile. <laughs> There's some pretty interesting things you can do in this game. You can talk to Missile again as well. But, uh, he just helps, uh, Camilla search. Anyways, I want to repossess Santa here. And if you can notice, we can actually manipulate him and rotate him faster. So if you trick him, the speed increases, and he elevates. Now I just have to time that right to get up here. Where the latches and the music box is hidden. They didn't exactly see it, though. That wooden box that just fell. That just might be the music box we're looking for. I bet the little lady will know when she sees it. We're really close now! Time that right. And slow this thing down. Okay. Trick. And the star even plays music, so, to get their attention... This is it! The music box! Yippee! I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, Missile! If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flat underneath that wall when I come home. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know. You be good while I'm away, and no barking! <laughs> Curled up back on the floor. Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out, out of here? And? That is the end of our chapter. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Ghost Trick. This is Autumn Child saying I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!